we've got here the graph y equals x squared and I want to think about how to use that to draw some related graphs. So to start off with, imagine the graph y equals x squared plus 3. Well, I'm simply adding 3 to the y value, so the whole graph moves up 1, 2, 3 places up the axis like that. Similarly, if I had the graph of y equals x squared minus 2, I'd move two places down the axis like that. Fairly straightforward. Okay, so what happens then if I had, for example, y equals x plus 4 all squared? Well, your first instinct might be to think that that's going to move to the right because I'm adding something to the x value. Let's take a closer look then. To help me to think about this, I'm going to do a substitution and let u equal x plus 4. So the graph that I'm interested in is y equals u squared. Now to see what happens with this graph, I'm going to get rid of my x and y axis and instead I'm going to look at this on an axis that shows y against u. There we are. So that's the graph of y equals u squared. Now to see what that looks like on the xy plane, I have to think about what happens to the origin. So my xy plane, when x equals 0, u equals x plus 4. So u equals x plus 1, 2, 3, 4. u equals 4 is just there. And when I take away this green set of axes, you can see that my graph has now moved to the left and now touches at 1, 2, 3, negative 4. So although intuition might have suggested that it moves to the right, it actually moves to the left.